Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to simulate a simple multi-spectral camera system. A multi-spectral camera system consists of a few channels, usually across the visible spectrum. They are very affordable and they could also provide us with more information as opposed to an ordinary digital camera, but less information compared to a hyperspectral camera. Let's get started and see how we could simulate them. Okay, as I said, today I'm going to talk about simulating a multispectral camera in MATLAB. Today we're going to talk about a very simple system of multispectral camera. I then make an attempt to simulate how these cameras capture any image. A multispectral camera captures images of an object at a few bands across the spectrum, as shown here. As you can see here, these are the bands that this multispectral imaging system can capture. The simplest way to make a multispectral camera is to put a filter array in front of a monochrome sensor. A monochrome sensor captures all incoming light at each pixel regardless of color. Here's an example of a monochrome sensor spectral sensitivity. So using this monochrome sensor we get to have only one channel in which all colors are detected. We could easily make a multispectral camera system by putting a filter array in front of this monochrome sensor. This filter array only lets light of a specific wavelength go through them, resulting in a multispectral camera system shown as follows. Therefore, the filter arrays through turning would help the camera capture images of different bands across the spectrum. Each filter has its own specific spectral transmittance as a function of wavelength, which should be multiplied by the spectral sensitivity of the monochrome sensor forming the overall spectral sensitivity of the multispectral camera system. Here, we want to simulate the same system of multispectral camera. To do that, we presume that a filter array containing filters of the following spectral transmittance is put in front of a monochrome sensor. The spectral sensitivity of the monochrome sensor we are using is shown as follows. The object whose image we are going to capture using our multispectral imaging system is a Macbeth color checker shown as follows. So in our situation, we assume that a Macbeth color checker is set in front of a multispectral camera, which consists of a filter array in front of a monochrome sensor. To simulate this image capture using our system, we should consider the color chart, the light source, the filters, and the monochrome sensor shown as follows. So these are the important factors that we have to consider. The light source, Macbeth color checker, and the multispectral camera system. First, the light comes from the light source, and it hits the Macbeth color checker, the light is then reflected from the Macbeth color checker and it would go through these filters and it would hit the sensor inside the camera system which would result in an image that is formed using one of these filters. So each filter here would help form one image and then when we put together the images captured with the help of each filter we get to the multi-spectral image. Let's go to MATLAB and see how we could code this simulation using these variables. Okay, here's the script for this video. First, we're reading the spectral sensitivity of the monochrome sensor that is saved in this file. And then we're reading the spectral data of the light source which is saved in this file. And then we're reading the spectral reflectance data of the Macbeth color checker. And then we reshape that data into a matrix form. And as you can see, D65 is the light source that we used, which is the average daylight. And then we're reading the spectral transmittance of the filters which are saved in this file called filters. And then we normalize them subsequently so that they would be between 0 and 1. And here we multiply the spectral transmittance of the filters by the spectral sensitivity of the monochrome sensor, which gives us the final spectral sensitivity of our multi-spectral camera system. And here is where we calculate the output of the multi-spectral camera system, which is the multiplication of the spectral sensitivity of the multi-spectral system and the spectral data of the light source and the spectral reflectance of the Macbeth color checker. And then here is where we add random noise which would make our output resemble the real situation and then here we reshape the data into a seven channel image then one by one we show each channel let's run this and see what happens so you could see this is the first channel this is the second channel third fourth and it would go on first second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh channel. You could see when you go through the channels, some of the patches of the Macbeth color checker are dark and some of them are not, which shows the light reflected in that specific band. These bright spots 
show the area that the detector was able to detect in that specific band which as I said before depends on the spectral transmittance of the filter and the spectral sensitivity of the monochrome sensor. It's always interesting to go through the bands and see where the sensor has been able to detect specific areas depending on the spectral transmittance of the filters and the spectral sensitivity of the sensor. And you could see that the neutral patches on the bottom of the Macbeth color checker have been detected in all the channels which makes sense because they don't have any color. But the color patches do not follow the same rule as them appearing at a specific band depends on where they fall on the spectrum and also the final spectral sensitivity of the multi-spectral camera system. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and you were able to get something out of it. If you liked it, I would appreciate if you could share the video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and have a nice day.